conducted by the University of Maryland College of Computer, Mathematical, and Natural Sciences, beekeepers across the United States lost 33% of their colonies over the years spanning April 2016 to April 2017. While bee colonies have been lost more in previous years, Dr. Jerry Bromanschik and his researchers at the University of Maryland have developed a way to bridge the communication gap and allow beekeepers to communicate with their colonies. The replying previous studies documented that the bees' health directly corresponds with the sounds they produce. The researchers have developed an artificial intelligence phone app that analyzes the sounds produced by the bees and assesses it for any health problems. Despite, not la despite lacking the official qualifications of a licensed beekeeper, I have worked closely with bees in attempts to breed my cacti. Through applying these steps for natural insect pollination, I have struggled to time the flower balloon with the natural insect pollination. The decline in bees is felt not just in these academic studies, but also in the small-scale plant bee breeder. So today, we will learn about this new artificial intelligence phone app that is working to protect the insect that supports the majority of its life. We will analyze how this works by looking at the research coming from the University of Maryland before finally looking at the positive and negative implications. Researchers at the University of Maryland are in the process of developing Bee Health Guru, a pattern recognition artificial intelligence phone app that analyzes the sounds produced by bees and then formulates a list of potential maladies harming the colony. According to a study in an article published by The Economist on March 28th titled, A New App Listens to the Problems of Bees, a subtle tone indicates contentment and change in tone indicates that they are about to swarm. That intuition is about to be put to the test. Soon, Beekeepers will know what is troubling a colony simply by listening to them using a phone app. So let's look at how this works. The researchers have developed a phone app that will listen to the bees, taking approximately 30 seconds to formulate a potential list of maladies that is harming the colony. Using this phone app, in 30 seconds, a beekeeper is able to know what is troubling a colony without even disturbing them by manually inspecting the hive. So now that we know how this works, we will look at both positive and negative implications. Joe Stitchbury, an author for Medium.com, wrote in her article titled, Using AI to Understand the Bees' Needs, published on September 2nd, 2018 addresses both the positives and negatives of this new approach. Looking at the positives of this approach, she states that this is a far simpler procedure than the traditional method of using smoke to pacify the bees before manual inspecting the hive. She goes on to state that this is a more effective approach for a novice beekeeper to understand the health risks the colony is facing. Now, this new approach definitely has some benefits, but we also have to look at the issues. So while, although these, looking at the article, she then goes on to describe the restrictions. She states that the initial release of this app will only be able to detect seven potential maladies, including hive beetle, parasitic mites, and bacterial infections. So although these restrictions will definitely limit the capabilities of the beekeeper to assess the health, it must be acknowledged that this is due to a lack of research and development. Given time and effort, the researchers at the University of Maryland will build upon their initial work and expand by connecting with users to listen to the bees and learn not just what is currently troubling the colony, but also potentially new diseases that is impacting the decline in populations. So looking at the positives and the benefits, 
it is clear that this new approach has the potential to assist beekeepers in protecting their colonies. So today, we learned about this new approach to solving the declining populations of bees. An artificial intelligence phone app that is able to listen to the bees to learn what is troubling them. If this problem continues, it will have disastrous consequences for everyone. However, looking at the work conducted by the University of Maryland in their study, Declining Bees, the trend is a continuous decline. Although it isn't linear, the results are still evident. However, the further research at the University of Maryland looking at this artificial intelligence program led by Dr. Jerry Bromanchik, it has potential to significantly reduce the problem and allow beekeepers to easily and effectively treat potential diseases, allowing beekeepers to protect their colonies through the coming years. Yeah.